Hello. My name is Angelusha Messi, and uh, my co-authors are Mary Tanana and Vetetima Prendi. Our paper is called Teenagers' Internet Use in Albania. Albania, like most countries in the world, is the in the world is experiencing a new wind today, the wind of the internet. Considering the reality that we are experiencing in the last years, when most of the countries experienced a total or partial isolation due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the use of the internet has increased significantly by all categories and ages of people, in particular teenagers, pupils, Students, by necessarily switching to online learning, have significantly increased the use of the Internet during this period. This has certainly affected their studies, their social development, their education, as well as their psychological development. Many studies suggest that during the years that adolescents develop intensively, the presence of the virtual world outlines new forms of behavior. The main purpose of this study is to determine the main factors that influence the use of the internet by adolescent children aged 12 to 15 years and this study also aims to uh, examine the rate of internet use in this age group as well as the impact on their learning performance to carry out this study a questionnaire was used which was addressed to the age group 12 to 15 years old students in tirana in some of the main schools with the highest indicators of student performance in the last 10 years in Albania. Various experts and uh, researchers uh, all over the world have studied the impact of the Internet to the learning performance of the students. But in Albania, there are only a few uh, studies in this uh, field and mainly uh, focused to the student to the student to the university student uh, to the the age group between 18 and uh, 25 years old and uh, only a few studies um, uh, on the range uh, 10 to 16 years old so this uh, we think that this study is very important uh, and uh, we uh, targeted the age group 12 to 15 years all students. The internet is one of the contemporary innovations, innovations in the world of information technology. Uh, we must say that we are living in the uh, er, uh, in the uh, times where uh, uh, we face artificial intelligence as a tool to, uh, that uh, has started to be used uh, on education. On education. This means that, that uh, we cannot think ab about education separated from technology. So we need to think about uh, technology as uh, a very important tool uh, that can help education, that can help uh, learning, but uh, it has to be examined uh, and uh, the, it has to be examined the impact of uh, the use of technology in the learning performance of students. About materials and methods, uh, the purpose of the study is to determine the factors that have brought about the increase uh, of the use of internet in the age group 12 to 15 years old. Uh, we raised uh, a research hypothesis Null hypothesis one, internet addiction does not affect the academic performance of, of adolescents or positively affects the academic performance of uh, adolescents. Uh, research hypothesis two, the level of uh, family income affects the rate of internet use of teenagers. Null hypothesis one, the level of family income does not affect the rate of internet use of teenagers. A dependent variable. Uh, is internet addiction and independent variables are demographic variables such as gender, place of, of residence, parents' employment, parents' education, academic performance. About uh, uh, the methodology, uh, the study was conducted in three uh, main schools 
of Tirana. Tirana is the capital of Albania and is the largest city with uh, more than half of population of the total population of Albania. And um, these three schools have the largest number of students and uh, with uh, the students with the highest uh, uh, performance indicator. A uh, simple random sampling was chosen between because this sample has the advantage of eliminating the possibility of distortion that may come from favoring some personal characteristic to ensure the list of subjects the register with the names of each student served. The sample unit is all the student in the age group 12 to 15 years, that is the fifth, seventh grade students who study in, the, in, this school, in, in these schools. Uh, about some results, uh, the data analysis was carried out with the quantitative method by means of the statistical program. The processing uh, consisted in the calculation of central tendency measurements, means and standard deviations, frequencies and percentage values of demographic uh, variables, which are among the descriptive statistical method used for data evaluation. The Pearson correlation was used, which serves to measure the strength and the uh, direction between two variables, uh, especially the study variables, academic performance, employment and parental education, and internet addiction, to de determine whether uh, there were statistically significant differences between two groups. Uh, T-tests for independent groups were calculated. The T-test analyzed in this study was used to test gender and place of residence differences in levels of internet addiction among adolescents. Uh, the coefficient takes values from minus 1 to 1. When it is close to plus 1, it indicates that the correlation is positive, strong positive, relationship between the two variables and the zero there is no relationship uh, between the two variables uh, by calculating the correlation coefficient uh, between internet addiction and the employment of parents of teenagers the analysis found that there uh, there is a strong positive correlation uh, this means that the uh, higher the level of parental employment, the higher the level of internet addiction, and the lower the level of parental employment, the lower uh, will be the um, uh, internet addiction uh, the li uh, among teenagers. The level of income affects the level of internet use by students. The, re the relationship is found to be significant and fair, which means that if the level of income increases, the rate of internet use also increases. The equation of this uh, econometric model uh, is shown below. Uh, the significance coefficient of the model results um, as uh, shown be below, less than uh, 0 0.05. Also, the level of income greatly affects the time spent on the internet uh, uh, from teenagers, and this confirmed this is also confirmed by the p-value, which is smaller than 0 0.05. So this variable is significant for the model. The other variable age is not significant for the model. As the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, there, this is also reflected in the determinant coefficient uh, R2, which results in a value of 17 points. 42%, uh, which shows that the connection of the variables is not very strong. The model as a whole turns out to be significant. Uh, this study aimed to determine the level of internet addiction and to examine the relationship between internet addiction and the academic performance of adolescents aged 12 to 15 years at the schools in Tirana, as well as to show the relationship between the level of income and the rate of internet use by this age group. Data were collected using the instrument, the Internet Addition, Addiction Scale. Uh, this um, instrument is a self-report instrument used to measure levels of Internet addiction. The, result, uh, the results obtained from, the, from this instrument show that the majority of teenagers have increased their level of Internet use during the pandemic period. They showed high level of addiction. Uh, because about 40% of them spend more than four hours of their active time during the day on the internet.
Now, the degree of their internet addiction is significantly uh, high and related to, to the level of their family income, which means that as the level of income increases, the number of hours they spend on internet increases. Children indicated that they experience negative causes of increased internet use, such as insomnia, lack of concentration, headaches, virtual harassment, and bullying. Also, students reported that they use most of their time on the internet for entertainment and only a moderate amount of time for assignment and projects. From all online platforms and net networks, YouTube and TikTok are the most clicked, 34% uh, and 21% respectively, followed by Instagram, Snapchat and Google. It seems that the use of Facebook in this age group has suffered a significant decrease, only 1% of them. The results of the study showed that the time spent on the internet increased significantly during the pandemic per period. From the data analysis, no statistically significant differences were found between the levels of the internet addiction, addiction scale according to the place of residence, village or city. The, the results of the study showed that there is a negative correlation relationship between internet addiction and the learning performance of the teenagers involved in the study, thus proving the hypothesis of the study. This means that the higher the internet addiction, the lower the academic performance of teenagers and vice versa. Data analysis found that there is a positive correlation between the level of income in the family and the time spent on the internet. This means that as the level of income in the family increases, the time spent on, spent on the internet increases. The association of age with time spent online was not statistically significant. We think that these, uh, these were the main conclusions of the study, but we also suggest that this study can be um, uh, continued because uh, uh, there are many significant um, factors to be studied and uh, other age groups or larger uh, population of study. Thank you very much for your attention. Congratulations for the uh, conference organization.